A mother and her two children robbed at gunpoint on this San Mateo street. We'll tell you what police told us just within the last 15 minutes. A suspected sexual battery in a South Bay shopping center. The connection it may have to a similar case. And Isaac may be losing strength, but the damage is extensive. The rescue operations underway this morning. It's all ahead here on the KTVU Channel 2 Morning News. Right now it is 439 and President Obama takes his campaign to the Internet. His surprise online appearance that led to an outage on a popular website. Plus, the program in the East Bay that keeps teenagers out of trouble while letting them earn some extra cash. Four fifty is the time right now. Cheating customers out of pennies. The practice uncovered at some Chipotle restaurants that doesn't add up. And nine children run over by a car. What the driver claims went wrong and why parents say he should not have been behind the wheel. We're live at SFO where more procedures about lax baggage screening surface. It's no longer a hurricane, but Isaac is still causing massive flooding, power outages, and tragedy. We'll go live to New Orleans. After four years of getting the runaround, America needs a turnaround, and the man for the job is Governor Mitt Romney. Paul Ryan delivering the biggest speech of his political life, and tonight, it's Mitt Romney's turn. All ahead on KTVU Channel 2 Morning News. Well, Panole police arrest a would-be bomber. What they found when they closed in on his home. Plus, Joe Paterno's FBI file has been released. The one thing that's not mentioned in that report. Good morning. Traffic is moving along pretty well on northbound 280 getting up to Highway 17. We'll tell you more about the morning commute and have another look at the forecast. All right, our time is now 5.52, the restaurant chain where rules have changed about giving you change. A new decision about what customers can expect back after you pay your bill. Plus a freeway warning from Caltrans, watch out for a pothole that leaks. Good morning. We have breaking news from the South Bay. A fire at a San Jose strip mall. Our news crew is heading to the scene. Search is on for a gunman. His victims, a mother and her children who were simply walking down the street. It is no longer a hurricane, but Isaac is still causing massive flooding, power outages, and tragedy. We'll take you live to New Orleans. With all their attack ads, the president is just throwing away money. And he's pretty experienced at that. <laughs> Paul Ryan goes on the attack during the biggest speech of his political career. Tonight, Mitt Romney takes center stage. It's all ahead here on the KTVU Channel 2 Morning News. 611, a bomb was found at one Bay Area city. What we know about it and who was arrested. State lawmakers take a step forward in putting driverless cars on the road. And one person was killed. A home was just blown to pieces. The repairs that may have led to a powerful explosion in Connecticut. A 
chief Yahoo News correspondent fired. The comment he made about Mitt Romney that was caught on an open microphone. A mother and her two children robbed at gunpoint on this street. We'll tell you what happened and what police are telling us this morning. Good morning. Northbound 101 traffic looks pretty good coming up to the 80 the interchange in San Jose. We'll tell you more about the South Bay commute straight ahead. Coming up on Morning Zone 2, breaking news from the South Bay. An early morning fire at a San Jose strip mall. KTV News was there first on the scene. Also, more security concerns at SFO as passenger traffic climbs to an all-time high. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're live in San Jose where a attic fire spread at a strip mall. We'll tell you what may have sparked the fire and how it could affect your commute. It's no longer a hurricane, but Isaac's still causing huge problems. And now we're learning about a deadly tragedy. We're live at SFO where some screeners allege that baggage isn't being checked properly. Find out what SFO has to say about it. Plus, an important warning in one Bay Area neighborhood after a disturbing crime involving a mom and her children. Mornings on 2 begins right now. It is 7-11, an FBI file on Joe Paterno, the focus of the more than 800 documents on the late football coach. Did they have anything to do with Jerry Sandusky? It is the final day of the Republican National Convention, a day that follows a heavy-hitting speech by the party's vice presidential pick. Mornings on 2 continues. A top political correspondent has just been fired from Yahoo News. What he said about Mitt Romney that cost him his job. You can't avoid it. The simple reason shopping on Amazon.com is about to get more expensive. All right, Mark. Time now is 8:10. Can PG&E handle the big fines related to the San Bruno disaster? There's a new report that talks about how much PG&E can afford to pay. A show of defiance from Lance Armstrong, what he told supporters after getting stripped of all seven Tour de France championships. Hey, 20, well, as most people prepare to relax this mm -hmm. holiday weekend, one man is getting ready to take on Lake Tahoe in the longest swim of his life. Good morning, northbound 280. Looks like slow traffic. We have a big problem on Highway 24 in the East Bay. We'll talk about that in the rest of the morning commute straight ahead. Investigating a late night crash that happened in the South Bay. The search is on for the driver who disappeared from the scene. It happened less than 24 hours ago. A mother robbed at gunpoint while with her two kids. It happened right across the street from a school. How the school is responding this morning and what we've seen police do in just the last hour. Plus, state lawmakers getting it in gear towards putting driverless cars out on the road. 